Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 6 to the power of a times 6 to the power of a this is equal to 60, so what is the value of a? Now let's provide a solution from here This exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m Applying this exponent property we have here 6 to the power of a plus a, this is equal to 60. Now this means that we have 6 to the power of 2a, this is equal to 60. Now to solve for the value of a, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that we have rog 6 to the power of 2a, this is equal to rog 60. The next step is that rog 6 to the power of 2a, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. Now applying this power root property of logarithm, then rog 6 to the power of 2a becomes 2a rog 6. This is equal to rog 60. Now let's divide both signs by rog 6. Here we have rog 6. So we can simplify rog 6 and rog 6 here so that we have 2a. This is equal to rog 60 divided by rog 6. The next step is that we can express 60. This is the same thing as 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2. So this implies that this is 2a which is equal to rog 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 everything here divided by rog 5 the next step is that rog 5 times that is rog 6 times 5 times 2 this is in the form of rog a multiplied by b which we can express as rog a plus rog b Applying this logarithm property, we have 2a, this is equal to rog 6 divided by rog 6, here we have rog 6, right? then plus rog 5 divided by rog 6, and then we have rog 2 divided by rog 6. Now we have rog 6 and rog 6 here simplifies so that we have 2a, this is equal to 1 plus, now we have rog 5 divided by rog 6, then plus rog 2 divided by rog 6. Now rog 5 over rog 6 and rog 2 over rog 6, this is in the form of rog a over rog b, which we can express as rog a to base b. So applying this logarithm property, we have that 2a, this is equal to 1, plus, this is rog 5, to base 6, then plus rog 2, to base 6. Let's divide both signs by 2, so that now, we have the value of a equal to, this is a half, plus a half rog 5 to be 6 then plus a half this is rog 2 to be 6 now since a half is common here we can factor out a half so that we have a half into the parentheses this is 1 plus rog 5 to be 6 then plus rog 2 to base 6. Now, this is the value of a. This is the value of a. Now, the next step from here is to verify that this value of a satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 6 to the power of a times 6 to the power of a. 
this is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, this again is in the form of 8 to the power of n times 8 to the power of m, which we can express as 8 to the power of n plus m. So we have 6 to the power of a plus a. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. So we have 6 to the power of 2a. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, let's substitute the value of a so that we have 6 to the power of 2 multiplied by a, which is a half, into the parentheses. This is 1 plus rog 5 to base 6, then plus rog 2 to base 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now let's simplify 2 and 2 here so that we have 6 to the power of 1 plus rog 5 to be 6 then plus rog 2 to be 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now we have that 6 to the power of 1 plus rog 5 to be 6 plus rog 2 to be 6. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which you can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this property, then we have 6 to the power of 1 times 6 to the power of rog 5 to be 6, then multiplied by 6 to the power of rog 2 to be 6. This should give us a value of 60. Now, the next step is that 6 to the power of rog 5 to be 6 and 6 to the power of rog 2 to be 6. This is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a. And this is supposed to give us a value of b. So therefore, this implies that 6 to the power of rog 5 to be 6. This should give us a value of 5. And 6 to the power of rog 2 to be 6. This should give us a value of 2. So now let's substitute 5 and 2 in this case so that we have 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 60 so this means that 6 times 5 this is 30 multiplied by 2 this should give us a value of 60 so we have that 30 times 2 this is equal to 60 which is equal to 60 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of a, which is actually equal to a half, into the parentheses, 1 plus rog 5 to be 6 plus rog 2 to be 6, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.